I'm very bullish on Dash. However, currently Viacom is an HLS everywhere shop. So I am working to uh, adjust the direction of the, uh, the big ship, but we don't move that fast, so it just takes a little while to get us to turn. We're very much where Viacom is. We're, we're an HLS everywhere shop, and that's because that's where the audience is. That's where the addressable audience is. Uh, not only that, but beyond the, the, the video delivery you know, uh, protocol and format, um, there's a massive ecosystem, and we rely heavily on advertising-based revenue. So the advertising space, you know, makes this more complicated. I mean, you know, we have challenges really moving between VPaid and Vast on the advertising side, and, and it works great with HLS. HLS is, you know, this manifest-driven technology that allows us to do things uh, that literally alter the, you know, alter the manifests on top of the HLS stream to get a better experience on a per-device basis. And, we're very, very focused on you know, how much of the experience, how much of the technology can we move left in the process. We have a whole initiative at, at Sinclair Digital called Shift Left, which is basically like how far left in the process, how far server side can we push <laughs> every decision so that we don't have to rely on client side players and client side adoption and client side technologies because one of those is scalable and the other one is not. Uh, one of those is manageable and the other one is not. And so, uh, as much as I love the promise of these from a technology standpoint, and I'm an engineer by trade and you know, by training, but I've, I've learned that you need adoption or there's no audience for what you build. And so that has been our philosophy. We're getting much, much better at driving that forward. And we're hitting 99 plus percent of our audience with HLS today. Well, I like the promises of um, reducing costs and, and streamli streamlining workflow. I think we'll get to a place where you see uh, more or people going full on with Dash, but I mean, right now, it really depends on the end clients being able to support it and trying to launch somebody across a bunch of different devices, a lot of which are in use legacy platforms that don't support Dash. Most of our clients are still using HLS to, to see those streams across all the platforms. It seems it's almost there's a subset here of the device manufacturers, right? Is it, is it incentivize Apple to support Dash? I think a lot of us would say that, you know, the answer is no, but they're getting, they inch closer and closer, um, you know, does Google support it? Do these other, you know, device manufacturers and the, and the guys who make the silicon, are they invested in this or is it, is it all just about grabbing audience and content?